Sage for a second here, and today we're talking about Soldier Force. So Soldier Force is, of course, a chat-made brand that was at Toys R Us, well, and was kind of an exclusive almost at Toys R Us until uh, they folded. Now you can sometimes see them at Target and other stores, but recently we had some big sets at Sam's Club that we talked about, and of course, um, you know, those were really cool. I did get a picture of the Missile Bay that the base had and the door and the keypad and stuff it's pretty cool looking the door that opens has these little tabs I'm sure that'll wear away over time but keep it pretty securely closed at first uh, the helicopter is kind of narrow and this small vehicle that goes in the back of it is really narrow because it has to fit inside the helicopter and of course the plane set's okay and I like the APC but the gun only you know looks a little oversized for the APC now uh, the cool little new uh, you know weapon sprue they have with the drone with the drone controller the rocket launcher the knife and all that stuff it is pretty cool and they actually uh have a picture here of it actually put together so you end up with two different types of missiles or maybe that's a grenade and a missile launcher the radio controller for the drone is really cool but i like the drone that the final faction has a little better now this is i've been told this wall is really short for a four inch figure so you can't exactly take cover behind it so that's kind of a bummer now this tank was at the Kid Connection, because it's also a chat mail line, really. Uh, at Walmart, but the uh, helicopter doesn't look like a helicopter I've seen recently. Uh, on the back of the box, there's a helicopter and a tank, and of course, another bigger helicopter is also on the back of the box. Uh, I really like that uh, these are coming out now. These mid-range sets are coming out to places like Big Lots, Family Dollar, maybe maybe Dollar General, uh, because they're owned by the same company as Family Dollar, and of course, or maybe they're owned by Dollar Tree now. I can't keep straight. <laughs> Somebody owns somebody. Anyway, um, coming to uh, your or Family Dollar, that same helicopter that was in that set with the tank, but colored differently, it looks like, has some missiles on the side. Uh, you know, they look like a pretty cool little uh, helicopter, attack helicopter. It's a little small, but, you know, the smaller sets are definitely going to be popular at the, like, the Dollar General type stores, where they can have a set, but it doesn't have to be really big and take up a lot of space. These boats we've seen a hundred times before, but this time it's in more military colors, and, of course, it's always good to see this in... More military cousins says orange and red and all that stuff. This one is coming to Big Lots, so be on the lookout for that. There's going to be that big helicopter from the back of that box on a truck, it looks like, where it could actually, you know, be driven around and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool looking, uh, but the truck is super narrow. So if you're putting in a, like a diorama display, you definitely want to put it towards the back of the display. Now, this little helicopter that they had <laughs> is asking to be made into a mech. If you, you know, with the way those skids are with those big circles and everything, it'd be really easy to add bigger legs there, cut the tail end off, add some more guns on it and, and take the blade off at the top, the rotor off the top and make it a mech. So that's customizing waiting to happen. I don't even know what set that's going to come in. So this has been a look at Soldier Force for this holiday season, 2021. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, pour on the plastic.